Welcome to Phoenix Raceway for the Fiber Fuel 500 with our third race on the West Coast. Since it's going to be a playoff race and not the championship when we come back here in the fall, let's talk about our standings after Las Vegas. It's been four races in the season and we're talking about points, but the most important part that only full-time racers can join the playoffs with eight drivers fighting for a championship. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Cruz Ramirez and her teammate Lightning McQueen. In row two, Jackson Storm and Ryan Laney. In row three, former winner at Las Vegas, J.D. McPillar and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row four, Chase Raisla, who blew an engine last week, and rookie Master Dragon 4000, which is trying to improve. In row 5, Cal Weathers, the winner and champion back here in November, and H.J. Hollis. In row 6, Daniel Suarez and Brian Spark. In row 7, Phil Tankson and Brandon Powercar with a new paint scheme. In row 8, Bobby Swift and Colin Bargain in the nice IHOP paint scheme. And in row 9 is Conrad Camber, the Florida 500 winner. Here's the race format, 16 laps, 17.31 miles around the 1.08 mile track, and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour, just like at Las Vegas and Atlanta. The pace car is off the pits, and here we go with Cruz Ramirez and Lightning McQueen in the pole. Well, the start-finish line is not here. Well, it used to be there at Phoenix Raceway, if you've seen the real Phoenix Raceway. In like a NASCAR race, yeah, or whichever race. Right here will be the start-finish line. Here they go, through the restart zone. Now with turn, now they're exiting turn four. Green flag is in the air at Phoenix. Lightning McQueen with a great start, but Ryan Laney go all the goes all the way to the inside. Now Lightning McQueen is in the outside. They're four wide already. Ryan Laney, Bubba Wheelhouse. Now they're three wide. Behind the pack, who's going to lead lap one? Now it's Bubba Wheelhouse in the lead. Master Dragon 4000 trying to improve. Like I said earlier, before the race started. Now Master Dragon 4000 is in second place. Here he goes. He has... Now he takes the lead. And he's going to lead, lead lap two. Master 4000, Master Dragon 4000 in the lead. Now here's an onboard Brandon Power Car. There's still three wide in front of Brandon Power Car. Let's see the back. Not that much drivers are going up from the number seven. earlier, Ryan Spark, um, H.J. Holis, and Bobby Swift. Ooh. Bubba is trying to block the 52 of Brian Spark, but that block did not work. The 6 and the 68 are having beef with each other. I sort of am not liking that. Here they go, 3 wider. They're touching, they're touching, they're, they're touching, and there's a wreck. 68 H.J. Hollis brings out the first caution of the day. The number 10 of Colin Bargain was involved. The old 19. I do not know what's with him. For some reason, the track is still says it's st the green flag is still out. But instead, the officials are not bringing out the yellow flag. Now there's a the caution. The green lights have turned yellow. Let's see what just happened. Yep, it was the 019 that had some beef with the 68 and hits the 10 of Colin Bargain. 
Well, that damage is going to impact the number 68. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Fiber Fuel 500, and we're ready to go back green with the lights out of the pace car. And we're about to restart with five laps to go since it was like five to four laps of caution laps. Master Dragon 4000 still in the lead. H.J. Hullis refused to leave the race or quit. Jackson Storm and the 21 Ryan Laney, they're about to put pressure on the number 41. I'm not sure if the rookie is going to like that. He's going to try all his best to defend first place. Now they're about to restart double foul since it's the rules. The pace car is after the pits. Jackson Storm in the outside. Master Dragon 4000 in the inside. HJ Holis is all the way in 17th place because the damage is still impacting him. And here they go through the restart. The green flag is back in the air. With five laps to go, Master Dragon 4000 having a strong restart. They're three wide behind him. Now they're four wide, four wide. And we got trouble. The 21 and the 41 triggers a second caution. Ryan Laney and Master Dragon 4000 with a bunch of damage with a 41. Mm. What just happened? Yep, the 41 got too aggressive against the number 21. And let's have an onboard. Well, that's an ugly hit. Direct happened really quick, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Fire Fuel 500, and the lights are off the pace car. We're about to do two laps of overtime since we didn't go through all five laps under green flag conditions. So, the rules of overtime: if they don't reach the start finish line of uh, when the white flag comes out, they're gonna have to restart again, like two more times. Well, if, the, if there's a wreck while the white flag is already out, the next flag will end the race. Bobby Swift is in the lead. Second place is Brandon Power Car trying to get his first career win as a rookie. So he'll be the second rookie to win this year if he wins this race. Brandon Power Car to the outside. I'm not sure if that's a good move because I heard that the inside lane is better than the outside. Master Dragon 4000 and Ryan Laney are out of the race because they have heavy amount of damage to prevent them from racing. Here we go. Three. Here we go. With two laps of overtime. Green flag. You see what I was talking about? That the inside lane is better than the outside. Bobby Swift has an advantage to win. J.D. McPillar trying to get a second win in, in a row after Las Vegas. Chase Racelad also trying to get his first win of this year. But instead, Bobby Swift is holding him off. Here to go. White flag. The next flag will end the race. Bobby Swift in the lead. The 24 Chase Racelad trying to reach the 19. Now here they come. Now I see turns three and gonna enter turn four for the final time. Bobby Swift wins the Fire Fuel 500. Chase Richard Lot second, third Daniel Swervis, fourth Jackson Storm, and fifth Phil Tankson. Congratulations to Bobby Swift being the winner here at Phoenix. And Brandon Powercar is taking another lap. He thinks that the race isn't over yet. Hmm. That's strange.
Here are the official results. Jackson Storm is the fastest car of the day. Next Friday is Bristol Motor Speedway for the first race in the spring at 2.30 p.m. Pacific and 5.30 Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you in Bristol, Tennessee. This is the Candy Cat Hearn 27 signing out.